is Zane from Fight Hub TV, powered by Stage from VIP, joined by Big Baby Miller. Salamu alaikum. Alaikum uh, salam, my brother. Uh, so yes, just today, bro, we just came back from the weigh-in. Got very heated, bro. You ended up pushing him. Yeah, Talk me through yeah. that. Um, I started thinking about what he said, even though I know he was kind of prompted to say it. Kind of made me piss. And then he played over the speaker. Yeah. I'm your daddy, right? Say it again. I'm in front of your face. Let me say, let me hear you say it again. And he wouldn't say it. So I just pushed this punch. That's all. Yeah. What were you saying before the push? I mean, it was getting a little bit heated between both of you. There, I was right? saying, say it again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Call me. Call, say you got something to say. Say it again. And, you know, he was biting his lip like he couldn't, you know, spit it out. Yeah. So, that was it. You know. Even yesterday at the press conference, like <laughs> you applauded him, right? Which I thought was very rare. What, <laughs> what did you think of what he had to say? Yesterday? I think it was funny. I think everybody was kind of shocked that Daniel Dubois actually put some sentences together. You know what I mean? Because he usually don't say much, you know, but it's, it's cool. Like I said, it's fun and games still get to a point, you know, mm -hmm. is what it is. Yeah, now you're in fight mode, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm locked in, man. I'm ready, I'm ready to kill. I got a lot riding on this fight. You know what I mean? Just not even just on the mentally and the physical and the spiritual side. Like, it's a lot. This is something for me personally, you know what I mean, from, from, from my heart. Like, like, I'm digging down deep, you know what I mean? The training can't everything. Like, I want to hurt this man. Talk me through, um, you weighed in now 30 pounds lighter than your previous fight, right? Mm -hmm. How was camp like? Oh, no, nah, so I'm really like 321, 322, bro. I'm like, you know, I felt really good. Yeah. I flew down here, it's about 318. Mm -hmm. um, but we've been, you know, sleeping a lot, you know, trying to get alchemated to it, drink a lot of water out here because it's a little dry. Um, so I put on maybe like three or four pounds while I've been out here training. But like, I had boots, I had my boots on, I had my, my phone, my wallet, I had army fatigue pants on so yeah 333 is not my actual weight but it's fine i don't care yeah yeah but in terms of that still you're going to be weighing a lot more than uh, 100 the boy yeah it's like a rhino fighting a, a, a deer it's like a deer running into a rhino that's exactly what's going to happen he's a deer he's very agile he's very lean very muscular but you know a rhino is just a bully you know what i mean rhino will come and move out the way and that's exactly what's gonna happen yeah in terms of the boy having that power he's knocked out a lot of men but correct no man as big as you right yeah he knocked out a lot of men he's been knocked out twice too so let's get some some i got way more knockouts i got more knockouts than he got wins mm -hmm. let's get that for number one you know what i'm trying to say and i'm more durable i'm more hungry i'm more meaner i'm more experienced than him i got more swag than him i'm better looking than him i'm better spoken to him i get more vagina than him there's a lot of things i do better than him brother so like i said when it comes Tomorrow night, we're going to turn up. Yeah. Is, is that sort of the plan, though, like to, to drown him in those later rounds? Oh, no. I think, I think um, whatever I get, I'm going to see. I'm thinking six, six, eight rounds. But even a lot of professional boxers that, that, that I respect in the game says, bro, you can get him out of there before that. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, if you watch a lot of his fights, guys kind of, even George Joyce was boxing and moving and picking him up with a jab. And I, I forgot what round that ended. And then Usyk was at the ninth round, I think it was, or it was picking them off with the jab. It, it, it took them rounds, and they weren't being that aggressive. They stopped them. So imagine if it's the other way around where somebody's being aggressive on you, pressure and hitting you with multiple shots. They said the fight going to be over before the ninth round. Yeah. Before the eighth round, so. Before the ninth, eighth. You're, yeah. You're predicting that. It's going to be over before that. That's what they're... I'm thinking between six and eight, uh -huh. but people that are analyzing, studying boxing, think it's going to be over before that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. In terms of, you mentioned two, uh, two of his previous opponents, obviously Joe Joyce's his first loss, Usyk his most recent fight and his most recent loss. Yeah. What did you make of that Usyk fight? And i got to ask you, mm. did you think that was a low blow? Technically, technically it's a low blow. Mm -hmm. It's not a low blow. If phys by looking at it visually, it's not a low blow. But technically, because where we, he was hit at, it's considered a low blow. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like I said, you know, um, it all depends on the referee who's making that call. And that's what happens when you're fighting close to his hometown, you know, Poland next to Ukraine. A lot of Ukrainians in Poland, and they were backing him to win. So he wasn't the hometown favorite, and that happens, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just like how now that, even though we're not fighting in our hometown, he's on a Frank Warren card. He's a Frank Warren fighter. So if it goes to decision, which it will not, most likely they're gonna try to jerk me and give it to Dubois. So I'm making sure it's not going to decision. I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure I run his yeah, just um, talking about the rest of the card just quickly, um, the two main events that are out there. Let's go through a Wilder Parker. You've seen them up close and personal now mm -hmm. as well on stage. What do you make of that fight now? Man, Parker's in incredible shape. Um, I know a lot of people are trying to bust his bubble out of the George Joyce fight. You know, he was sick. 
for for a couple of days leading up to that Joe Joyce fight, man. And he came right back and um, got back on the winning side. You know, I'm pulling for Paul, that's my boy. You know, Wilder's American. You know, I, I want to see him do decent too. You know, but you know, I'm going I'm going with the home team. You know, Paul is the homie. And in the day, it's still the best man winning that fight. You yeah. know. And just the last question for me is that Joshua Wallen fight. All week, Joshua has been kind of locked in, focused. He's not really been answering that many questions, you know what I mean, uh, to any of the press. Mm. What do you make of that? Oh, it's because I pushed his buttons in the hotel, really. Ever since I pushed his buttons, everybody's asking him about me. Yeah. He's kind of been like a little b you know what I mean? But AJ's the pot. How you call it? The pot. She's the pot. I don't know. I, you know, that fight, too. Uh, I say 50-52 because yeah. Wale ain't no punk. He's coming, to, he's coming to bang. And he knows, like, this is a shot he's been waiting for. Um, he has experience. He sparred AJ. Um, you know, he's capable. You know, he's very capable. Came off a good win. The guy said AJ came off an 11-day win off of somebody that just jumped in the ring. You know, hilarious. So yeah. how serious can we take that one? But like I said, it's still boxing. Anything can happen. I just need one. I need... I don't want to say it's an upset, but I need one upset. I need either Joseph Parker or Wallen to win. <laughs> yeah. For sure. One of them two guys got to they because that, that's going to put me right back in the mix to fight AJ Dumbass. <laughs> Which one of those two fights do you reckon is more likely to get an upset? I don't know. I don't know. Parker has the ability, man. Mm. I've seen Parker box more rounds and not get hit. I've seen Boxer use the ring fundamentals a little more. Otom Wilder gets a little sloppy towards later rounds, so uh, it could be it could be Parker, yeah. it could be Parker, man, it could be Parker. Yeah. Remember, you know AJ it can box, he can box, got a good jab, go to the body, can throw a right hand, he can box, but you know Deontay's not a boxer, man. That's my that more thing. Like I know we we we, we jump on Deontay a lot, call him a bum. It's not a, the guy's not a bum. We all know not a bum. The guy can fight, he can throw punches, and I mean, me and him have our own personal beef. But we all know Deontay doesn't have the best boxing skill. It's that right hand. If Parker can stay away from that right hand, it'll be victorious. All right, thanks for your time, and I wish you the best of luck, Thank bro. Thank you, all right, brother.